within the joint European Union and Council of Europe project for support to cultural diversity in Kosovo, the institutional capacity development component plays a crucial role to work with central and local authorities. The activities of the institutional capacity development component were focused on legislative support, introduction and promotion of European conventions, training sessions and study visits. Promote an integrated approach to heritage, PCDK has highlighted all types of heritage in Kosovo. Two of elements of intangible cultural heritage recognized by PCDK in Kosovo, wedding ritual near the village in, of Prizren and ship sharing in Dechan, Dechane municipality, were documented and presented on the first regional conference on intangible cultural heritage in Kosovo organized by PCDK. Heritage is a key factor in the sustainable development of societies. In order to undertake appropriate activities and measures to maintain and use this heritage, the PCDK project team organized seminars on five of the conventions with technical support from international and local experts and with the participation of many local stakeholders. Four of these were Council of Europe documents. The Convention for the Protection of the Architectural Heritage of Europe, adopted in Granada, Spain in 1985 and promoted through a seminar organized in Pristine, Pristina on 25th June 2010. The revised European Convention on the Protection of the Archaeological Heritage, adopted in Valletta, Malta in 1992. This was promoted through a seminar organized in Novobardo, Novobard on 29th September 2010. The Landscape Convention was adopted in Florence, Italy in the year 2000 and was promoted through a seminar organized in Mitrovic, Mitrovica on 25th May 2011. And the Convention on the Value of Cultural Heritage for Society, which was adopted in Faro, Portugal in 2005 and was promoted through the seminar organized in Clean, Clina on 30th September 2011. The fifth seminar was on the UNESCO Convention for Safeguarding of Intangible Heritage, adopted in Paris in 2003 and which was promoted through the seminar organized in Jakov, Jakovica on 8th December 2010. The conventions were published through five booklets, each in three languages, English, Albanian and Serbian. Kosovo Cultural Heritage Law and its seven regulations are the main documents to be followed by those responsible for cultural heritage in Kosovo, as well as by other stakeholders who are connected to heritage in different ways. In order to facilitate the implementation of this cultural heritage law, to make its provisions more understandable and easier to apply through appropriate methodological approaches, the PCDK project developed the technical tools of guidelines relating to different aspects of the heritage protection process. The seven guidelines include an inventory on cultural heritage assets, criteria and conditions for the evaluation of cultural heritage assets, archaeological research, licensing of archaeological research, design of conservation basis study on cultural heritage within planning, conservation project design, and conservation and protection measures for safeguarding of movable heritage. Përvoja gjatë të artimit të Ozu, si ka qenë një përvoj shumë e mire shkëmbime të mendimeve dhe arritjes për bashkët e një rezultat që dikon është konkretizu me dokumentin që është në fazën përfundimtare. Unë mendoj që është dokument tjerë zekonisht i interesant edhe që me dokumentet tjera, Ozu së tjerë, kjo një mjet të mjaftushëm për me ecë për para dejtë punës profesionale në kushën e kozërimit dhe restaurimit në Kosovë. As the guidelines were primarily designed to be used by professionals working in the field of heritage protection, their development was carried out in collaboration with a team established by the Ministry of Culture, Youth and Sports, including local experts from other ministries and organizations with broad subjects of interest and multidisciplinary experience. 
roundtables were organized to create a dynamic platform for discussion, which focused on the guidelines based on the cultural heritage law. These have been carefully reviewed by the Council of Europe experts and it is hoped that they will prove effective resources for capacity development in the interministerial working group during the upcoming period. të jenë në funksion të ligjit dhe të marrin ndë një form të pres, ndë një regulore që të mund të përdojnë në për institucionet tona të cilat jenë shumë, 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 shumë të nevojshme. Së dhe mos për arkitektet të ri që do të vinë, do të punojnë, do të në bazë të këtyrën u të zuzat, ato të informohen për punën më të tjeshme. Zbatimin e detyrimit për mbrojken efektive të trashegimis kulturore nuk mund të imaginohet procesi pa udhëzus praktik manual të cilt janë instrumenti kyq i cili udhëzon prej politikës e deri të aj portiri i cili e ruan edhe deren e një lokaliteti i cili ka atribut të rashigimis kulturore. At the request of the Ministry of Culture, Youth and Sports, a series of training sessions were organised for capacity development of local institutions and other stakeholders in the field of cultural and natural heritage. A series of 11 training sessions were organised at intervals between March 2011 and May 2012. I think that the cooperation be between all those stakeholders could be for the benefit of the local populations and of the quite sustainable development of their financial activities. The topics of the training sessions were monitoring and evaluation of heritage projects, project design for integrated heritage approach, dialogue and cooperation in heritage diversity, public relations and public information as media and publicity tools, GPS GIS training for practical use in heritage analysis. Data collection on cultural heritage with lessons learnt from Ireland. Advocacy and coalition building through collaborative actions to protect, maintain, promote and manage cultural and natural heritage within the heritage community network. The training of trainers to introduce new and diverse approaches and inspire motivation, creativity and involvement for both teachers and students. Training on the Heritage Plan. Training on the inventory of movable cultural heritage. Training on the inventory of intangible cultural heritage. In addition, in line with guidelines on integrated conservation, a case study in the historic centre of Pristine Pristina was organised together with architects from the Regional Centre for Cultural Heritage and from the National Conservation Centre with students from the Faculty of Architecture. The support and, and um, enthusiasm of a number of students from the School of Architecture who are the next generation of, of architects who are going to be involved in the conservation work and they are going to work alongside us in the collection um, and analysis of that information. The work was led by an international expert with the assistance of local professionals academics, the Ministry of Environment and Spatial Planning and the Municipality of Pristine Pristina. It has produced a study of the valuable features of the central historical area of Pristine Pristina that might be used as a documentation base for the development of the next urban plan of this area. It highlights the need for an integrated approach in the preservation of cultural heritage in coexistence with the urban development needs of the contemporary city. The study could also be used by the Ministry of Culture, Youth and Sports as an example of an extensive inventory document for an architectural conservation area, as defined by law, that should be listed as a permanently protected cultural heritage asset. Further, in order to harmonise the terminology used in the field together with the Ministry of Culture, Youth and Sports, Work on developing a dictionary on cultural heritage has begun. At the moment we're right at the beginning designing the project 
then we'll do some preliminary research compiling a sort of database of current terminology used here in Kosovo and in Europe and then we'll develop the database to ensure that it is useful in a practical sense and relevant to the Kosovo situation. And when we have that, uh, hopefully we'll have a tool, whether it's published as a, as a volume or on a website, we'll have a tool that will actually be useful in developing a common understanding of the things that we do here. The first workshop on this project, led by a Council of Europe expert, was organised in May 2012 in Pristina, Pristina, with participation from an established team of local experts working in the heritage field. Study visits played an essential role to expose local stakeholders and institutions to best practices in the field. A total of 14 were held with over 200 participants. The study visits included a two-day forum on the protection and promotion of agricultural heritage in the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia, a visit to Tirana and the UNESCO protected town of Berat in Albania, participation in the European Heritage Forum on Cultural Heritage, Participation and Prosperity in Istanbul, Turkey, a study visit to Skopje in the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia on the protection and attractiveness of ancient town centres, a trip to Zagreb, Split and Havar in Croatia on the topic of integrated heritage approaches and heritage legislation, a tour of the Stobi archaeological site in the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia, the visit of seven Kosovo journalists to Strasbourg and two events for local NGOs and civil society organisations from Kosovo in Brussels in order to become familiarised with EU structures, policies and programmes. There was a study visit to Zurich of teachers from Kosovo regarding the teaching of cultural heritage. There was also a visit to Kilkenny in Ireland for those involved in the development of a heritage plan for Kosovo and a series of study visits were organised to Italy, Slovenia and Montenegro. Duke a chance un vin grup in punus nga Ministria Kulturus për ka sërë nga Departamenti Trashkemis Kulturore dhe gati për bon 2 vjet që për punojmë në disa regulore, në disa uzus dhe për të cilat mendoj se janë me interes për fush veprimtarin e trashkemi skulturore në përgjëllësi. Të dhe herë e falë në drojmë Komisionin Europian, një kusë ishte dhe e kshilin e Europës, që nga mundësën për herët por që kjo të shkruhet dhe të bëhet, sepse dhe me tani nuk i kim pas këtë loj, këtë loj uzusi, i cili me siguri që ma vonë të të firmoset apo do të plëtsuat me ndryshimet e ligjit dhe do të firmoset edhe nga Ministri i Kulturës dhe do të hinë përdrejmë të qithë punëtorëve të trashimis kulturore. Këta uzus për punën e ekspertve në lamit të ndryshme në arkitekturë, arkeologi, muzeare, shpirtrore janë shumë të nevojshëm. Dhe me dojë që këta uzus kanë me kanë odhëra fysi mirë për institucionet varset të cilat kanë për shdo ditë i prekun me dorë dhe kanë njëhim pun për pun me efikase. Parin si antari grupit, pajtohem që uzuz dhëtë gjithqysh me egzistu, me uponur rrëf uzuzve. Nuk dhe më thonë që kjo është uzuz i vetëm që dhëtë bëhet.